What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How's it going? What's going on? Guys, we were just in the Badlands, and now we popped out for a quick review of this latest episode that we're going to talk about, which is Season 2, Episode 6, Leopard Stalks in the Snow. <clears throat> and I just remembered, I just realized why it's in the snow this time. Because it's, ha- it's Christmas time. Because uh, it's Christmas time. All right, guys, so on the review... Uh, if you don't know what we do here, Jesse, why don't you tell them what, how we rate these things? Okay, so we have four total categories. The story, the visuals, the character slash acting, and the music slash sound. The visuals incorporate our uh, visual effects and our martial artists. Mm. And we use the rating system of Butterfly Stars. <laughs> yeah, Butterfly Stars. Uh, yeah, yeah, Butterfly Stars. Uh, I was wanting to call them ninja stars, but yeah, butterfly stars. The butterfly shurikens, yes. Shurikens. Yeah, those. Right. Cool. Well, Mikey, you usually start us off, so why break from tradition? Go ahead and start us off, my man. All right, so for my story, I'm going to give it a 3.5 rating. I enjoyed the reuniting of MK and um, Sonny. I, of course, enjoyed the Quinn uh, Minerva deal thought that was an interesting part that we're getting. And um, it was also cool uh, with Baji, and we learned that he was a former abbot. So that was, um, you know, it's an interesting story now that we're getting a little bit more into the into the season. Uh, so 3.5 for my visuals, I give it a 3.5 also. I enjoyed the beginning with the slow motion after the, the bomb went off when oh, yeah, when cool. um, Vale was going after after Quinn, there was a cool like slicing the neck and slow, uh, you know, in the slow motion it looked pretty cool. The guy with the guts hanging out, so they were always pretty cool with that visual kind of stuff. Um, unlike Jesse, I know Jesse's probably gonna knock it, but I did like the Christmas fight scene with all the lights all over the place, and I just think it was cool for us to get a glimpse of um, of uh, their world and seeing our like our world, you know. Yeah. So that that was that was kind of cool. Um, for, for my characters, I'm giving it a three as well. Uh, the only knock, I mean, I probably would have given it a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit better rating. But Baji as a fighter is just a little, it's going to be a little rough. I think that's why we didn't really see him use any more of his skills prior to this. Like actual physical skills, not just throwing a sword or right, to yeah. Sonny or something like that. You know what I mean? So it's a little unbelievable. Maybe they'll do it better the next time, but it. But with without that, um, I, I really enjoyed Quinn. I mean, for the last couple episodes, to me, he's kind of stole the show. Um, I you know en- enjoy him and his his conversations, especially with with Minerva this episode, um, and with Lydia. So that's a three for my character and music. I also gave it a three. Um, you know, b- besides the basic you know kind of fight music that we've been getting. You know when they when when the abbots came in and they touched the lights and the Christmas music came on that was kind of that was kind of cool for me, but nothing you know overly you know extraordinary that I, you know that it deserved a four or five. I mean I'm very strict when it comes to these to these um, reviews. So for you know so overall it's about a three point two five. I'll give it a three for my overall. Okay. But not bad, not bad. You know. No. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm going to give the story a 3.5. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, you know, I pretty much agree with you. Um, one thing that you didn't mention was that we got to see a little bit about the past, which yeah. is, which is yeah. really, really, really cool. We did get, well, we got to see a lot actually, but the whole mm-hmm. Christmas theme thing, but also the magazine that they looked a couple of magazines and they were, yeah. and they referenced it a lot. Like, I think sure. they were very, they went very past referencing heavy on this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, so three point five. We we'll get more into that later. Uh, for me, for visuals, it's going to be a three point five. Also, I normally give it a four, but aside from the beginning with all the blood and the guts and some of the the cutting and stuff, the the, the fight scenes were a little meh. You know, um, some of the shots uh, I feel like not as good as not as good as they usually are. You yeah. know, so um, but whatever. Uh, you know, three point five again. It's it. You know, it's still great, but you know. Not as good as usually. Uh, characters, we're going to give it a uh, 3.5. Because, again, like you said, Quinn, he stole the show. He, he always steals the show, but it might be getting a little too... Eh, you know what I mean? 
Um, <laughs> I don't know what even that means. But, um, and everyone else was kind of like, meh, another meh yeah. thing. You know, everyone yeah. was kind of, you know, they weren't they weren't on their top game. I think in this in this episode, um, uh, still good. Three point five is, is you know, it's nothing to scoff at, but you know, uh, music. I'm gonna give it a three point five. Uh, I mean, I mean, I could have given it a three, but I'm gonna go three point five. I still love Quinn's music, his his now his theme music with the them tapping on the drum, like it sounds mm-hmm. like a seal drum or something, and you know, and some of the and like the Christmas music and everything. But you know, some of the sword, some of the sword fighting and 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 all those the ambient sounds and stuff like that. I I noticed those this episode, so that's why it gets a three point five. So overall, for me, it's gonna be a three point five. Um, yeah. You know, just uh, just this was the first real middle of the road episode for me. Jess. All right. Well, uh, I'm the most critical of this episode out of all three of us. My story rating is a two point five. Certain aspects of it were very lacking. And you know what? I just don't give a flying flip and flugelhorn about Tilda. I don't I don't I don't care about her at all. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want a story. Don't care about her backstory. Sucked. Didn't care about it. Disengaged me from the whole. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Killed the rest of the episode for me. I'm sorry. I I, I don't care. Don't apologize, Do man. Don't apologize. All right. Now that that one's out of the way, the widow. Backstabbing, conniving, piece of crap filth. Not just filth, not just crap. Piece of crap filth. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Didn't care for her story this time either. She flip-flopped too easily, too easily broken. Yeah. That's why I got a 2.5. Okay. Even though Sonny and them were great, all that was good in the story department. That brought it down for you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Brought it way down. Visuals, 3.5. Not as critical. Uh, they were pretty good, but where the freak did the snow come from? At the end, it started. It, it was still. It started snowing. Yeah. Artificial snow all over the ground. The lights and stuff are off. Why is it falling from the ceiling? Yeah. It just added to the, the scene. Just <laughs> no, that was no it didn't just add to the scene. That was horrible. Yeah. All right. Characters and acting, another 2.5. Ooh. Now, now, this is not for all of the cast. Sonny, Beji, Waldo, and Quinn, albeit Quinn very creepily, they did a great job. Outstanding job. Yeah. Everyone else. Everyone else sucked ass, huh? <laughs> Subpar. Yeah. 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 Uh, music three. Prominent music. Santa Sagrado had, like, Christmas music. Eh. Yeah. Just eh. My overall... It's a three. I mean, I very easily lost interest in this episode because it was just so eh from the get-go. Yeah, it wasn't. But, you know, it's interesting because we actually did get some really interesting story stuff. We found out Beige was an abbot. It engaged me, and then it went right back. It was so weird. I don't care about Ava dying. I don't. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, no. I think, think, yeah, let's save it for the discussion. But I agree. I think there's a lot of what jesse's where jesse's coming from but i think like chris we did get a couple cool pivotal yeah you know plot points especially yeah, but with, looking at with it Oscar, critically, you know? if we didn't then this it, episode would have gotten like an would have gotten a two or something yeah. completely well, oh if we hadn't around. gotten the Oscar stuff i would have given it a one yeah exactly so that'll bring our group total to a three right yeah, yeah. even though i tried my darndest to uh to dislike this episode yeah, and bring down. Jesse had a couple two point fives. I think that might have been like one of the lowest for this show. That is the lowest. For this yeah, show. congratulations, <laughs> Jess. You you you've now scored our this show the lowest. Uh, hey, listen, man. Into the Badlands. You know, I mean, you have five strong episodes. I mean, you know, you're gonna. Yeah. I, you can't I, have them all perfect, but uh, yeah. this is the first kind of slower and yeah yeah. All right, well, we'll get into the discussion. Uh, so yeah, so Mikey, where where can people find us, man? People can always find us, of course, on YouTube at Third Person Pod. You can also find us on iTunes. Check that out. We wouldn't mind a review on iTunes as well. Let us know how we're doing that way. Uh, But, of course, you can find us on all the social medias, on on our Facebook page at Third Person Pod, on Instagram. We're always putting some cool stuff up there, so come check us out. And don't forget to leave us some comments. We always love uh, hearing from you guys. Yep. And uh, if you haven't checked out the live reaction and the discussion, which we keep referencing... Go check those out to find out more and to see how what we our live views of the show or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, you, you see it every time you watch a video. Right down there below my camera, there's a little thing that says comic blitz. Third person pause the code. But 
that's all you need to know about that. What you do need to know about is our Game of Thrones Houses videos are going to be coming out on Thursday. I believe that is the 27th. Yes, yeah, 27th of April. Right. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be uh, our first real Game of Thrones coverage, if that's you will. Right. Yeah. So go check gonna, that out. If yeah. you don't know what that is, you'll have to wait and see. Yeah. That's going to do it for us, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you on the next review of Into the Badlands. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.